putting in the big lift across the flats here in South Australia, trying to get up over to Port Augusta and start making our way over the Nullarbor over the next week. We're starting to come into the Flinders Ranges here in front of us. Pretty good side on the other side of the flats. I reckon we'll be crossing them later tonight and finding camp. Probably up in Chinaman's Creek. Alrighty, we've just left Chinaman's Creek campground. Little overnight stay there, making our way up around the top of the gulf today. The weather's not looking great, so we're going to get some hours under our belt and uh, make our way down to Port Lincoln. up for the night in Port Lincoln. We're just gonna launch tomorrow super early from there so we are allowed to stay a night here. This is has to pay 15 bucks for the government. We're just getting ready to go tomorrow super early so Ron is getting the boat ready, the tackle ready. The fishing rod prep. Yeah, I'm doing a little bit of breakfast ready for us, breakfast wrap, and also dinner tonight and lunches for tomorrow. You're gonna catch a big fish tomorrow? Big tuna tomorrow, tuna and kingfish. <laughs> No way, is that a snapper? Oh my god, that's a big snapper. No. It's a big snapper. Oh, you're kidding me. That's a beautiful snapper on the on the little metal there. I think it's a little slug that I got from New Zealand a while back. It's got the power shell on him. Look at the colours on that fella. 
That's unreal. I'd love to have that as a table fish, but we're told by a local there at Tack World. They got a three year ban on the snapper down here, so we better get him back nice and quick, eh? Check that out. Nice bit of fun on the white gear. <laughs> bit of 20 pound. Let's pause. Wow. That's my first snapper. That's a good one too. That's a good one. He'd be a perfect eater if we, if we could, but... Oops, in there. There we go. That. That's incredible. He's gone. Yes! That was amazing. That was awesome. Oh, that's great fun on the little side. Look on the goods. They need to put the drone up and film this whole bay. The seals are busted up on the side, eh? Hey? That's the seals jumping around the shallows. 
There were dolphins as well. Where are you getting the drone up? Oh, but baby, the fish is jumping again there. Look, they're going wild.
can't believe that just happened. We just saw like a bunch of something in the horizon. And we we're like, oh, better check out if it's a big fish there or something. A bunch of dolphins. Just having lunch. He's only just talked. <laughs> well, it's bigger than yesterday's. <laughs> Good job. That's huge. I was just sitting that out the back while I was eating. I just let it sit in the water and this guy jumped on. Get that out. Yeah. Nice. Ooh. Grab him, grab him. Hey! <laughs> Sorry! Me. Fuck, I don't know how to grab him. In between the eye and his head. It's big. big grab, big grab, grab it. Just grab it and hold, there's nothing he can do. No yep. spikies? No. Behind the eye, squeeze. Yep. Grab it. Ah! Yeah! Ah! Oh my god! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Where's the other one? Oh, let me put more on there. It's moving, it's slimy. It's still going off. Yeah, good one. <laughs> nice big sweetly. Yes. All right, a bit of feedback off the first couple of videos. We realized we were skipping over a few things. We weren't slowing down and filming everything, explaining exactly what's going on. Been pretty hectic the first week and a half. Uh, just traveling around, getting used to not getting up and going to work every day and trying to figure out what we do and don't need and what we're going to be doing the next day. So try to do a bit better with that. We've just spent the last couple of days in Port Lincoln, really testing the boat out, putting it through its paces and a bit of weather there. The conditions weren't ideal. We did want to get out the front for some tuna and kingfish. We ended up out the front there getting faced with about a three meter swell and 20 knots so we turned around head back in uh, we ended up picking up a few good snapper a couple squid and saw got some unreal footage with some dolphins and and some seals and stuff that we saw so that was epic and so we got a full day on the boat and then a half a day yesterday the conditions were really hairy so we just pulled it up about lunchtime came in did a stock take and moved on down the coast here about an hour and a half up the road at the Sharinga campsite. The main campsite sort of down the hill here. There's a few caravans and that there. There is toilets and a shower there. We've got our own. So we came up the top. There's no one here. And beautiful views off the cliff there. We ended up taking a bit of red and posting up the camp chairs down there last night watching the sunset, which was unreal. But uh, today we're going to move on further towards Elliston. So we've just packed up camp there, get on the highway again, head west and see if we can find a beach camp where we can wet a lawn. Also just realised we still haven't done the boat rundown and the first rig rundown was pretty vague so we'll probably do another one of them in the future. When we get that boat back in the water, probably further west in the coast, we'll be sure to do a rundown for you.